the freshwater sea turtles. He's gonna come up and get some air. Here he comes. Look, mom, he's getting air. He knows how to do it now. He's so cute. Bloop. Here we are inside of the building and everybody is up and ready and ready to freaking fire up. These guys are on point. We got our platinum red tail right there and our iridescent shark. Woo! Look at him, he just eats right from our hand. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, you guys, we're gonna be heading inside of Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch. Why? Because today is Wednesday, and we have to feed all of our monster fish. Right here, we have some cut up silver sides, shrimp, and tilapia, and then here we have bigger chunks of silver sides, tilapia, and shrimp. We feed every other day, but our albino black diamond stingrays, our group that we have with our platinum Florida guards, we feed them every single day and especially our baby arapaimas. I know everybody's wondering if our baby arapaimas are still alive, and yes, indeed, they are. Let's go check them all out and see how everybody's doing. Before we head back there, I'm gonna throw you guys in today's sponsor. So a lot of you guys, just like myself, have currently or have dealt with in the past some type of mental health issues. So if you're going through a hard time, don't worry about it, you guys. It happens to everybody all the time. And now with today's sponsor, BetterHelp, you guys can tackle these kind of issues. So BetterHelp makes therapy much more accessible and more affordable, especially when it's very hard to find a therapist that you like in your area. And now with BetterHelp, their mission is to find a therapist much easier because it's all online and it's all remote. And all you guys have to do is answer a few questions and they will match you with a therapist in just a few days. So it's easy to sign up and match with a therapist. So go down to the link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash Blake Exotic. And with this, you guys can get 10% off with your first month of therapy and to support our channel. Just like I said earlier, everybody struggles with mental health. In their life, there's nothing to be embarrassed about and it's completely normal. And if you wanna see the easiest way to find a therapist, click the link in my description. Or go check out betterhelp.com slash Blake's Exotic. And thank you again for BetterHelp for supporting this channel. So our African crown cranes have been really, really, really liking this side of the property and really liking this aquascape ecosystem right here. Why? Because it's water. Animals always go towards water. That is our male African crown crane and our female has been jumping back and forth, back and forth. And I really, really think and crossing my fingers that we might get a clutch of eggs by the end of this season. They're really, really jumping around and being really weird. So fingers crossed, we'll have another video for you guys about that soon. Let's head inside the dark fish monster building, if that makes any sense. Let's do it. And here we are inside of the building and everybody is up and ready and ready to freaking fire up. Right there is our giant ripsaw catfish. I would say he is just about two and a half feet long and big boy right there, I decided to name him Shamu. He looks just like a freaking killer whale and looks absolutely amazing. So his name is gonna be Shamu. I don't care what anybody says, that is Shamu inside of my 6,000 gallon fish tank. Now I need your guys' help to start naming other fish inside of this aquarium. We have a ton to name inside of here. They need to have names. Why would they not want to have names when we can see them now beautifully inside of our 6,000 gallon fish tank? So that note needs a name. He's an absolute star. And I guarantee right now these fish hear my voice. I think they hear the vibrations because look how this platinum red tail is acting right now. He is going around everywhere, jumping around everywhere, and he's ready to freaking eat. But before we go and feed them, we're gonna turn around and come over here. We put on Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch on Instagram. If you guys are not following me there, you guys need to follow me there because that's where I ask you guys different questions and help here inside of the gallery. I put a black tablecloth on the back of this fish tank. It's absolutely horrible. Why? Because I have no light underneath here yet. Once I finish my man cave up top, then I will be able to have lights and then everything will be nice, beautiful, and pretty. But when I put it completely black, then it's completely black and I can't even see the fish. So I just did it halfway. See, the stingrays look great. They look absolutely amazing. And we are gonna feed them a little bit of fish food right now. So here we go. Both of the guards are eating great on pellet really, really well. So look, they're like really like right here at the window. They're like, give me food, give me food. It's pretty funny. All right. Oof, Platinum Guard just ate a shrimp. He had a small little mouth, but he'll, he'll munch it up. And then watch these guys go. Ready, 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 ready? Boop, boop, boop. They're freaking psychos. Happy, happy fish. If they're not doing that, they're not happy fish. If they're attacking and looking like freaking dinosaurs or I don't know what, eating their fish food, look at them, they're freaking attacking each other. That's exactly what you want. You want them to be absolutely insane. They're happy and healthy and gaining a lot of weight. We'll get this guy over here. He's turning around the corner. Here he comes. All right, go a little bit more. They get that every single day. You can see all the silver sides and shrimp and everything going out. Look, he's going around. He's like, oh, I smell that stuff. I smell it. Where is it at? Oh, he missed it. He's like, is it over there? I know I smell it over there. 
But they're freaking everywhere. Oh, he's gonna get it. The third one, the third one. Oh, boof! But bamos. All right, turn around. Here we go. We got our two air pime over here, and we have our pyribia catfish, considered a man-eater catfish in Peru. Get very, very large. They can get up to seven feet long, but that would be very hard to get it to that size in captivity. But we got a handful of fish food right here. Now let's drop it in. As soon as that water smell goes, oof! Giant Arapaima is on point now, eating very, very well. And our little one is eating too. As soon as that catfish smells that food, he's gonna turn around and go. Give him a couple, there he goes. Those whiskers, oh, smell it. Oh yeah, little one's eating. Everyone's on point now. They have relaxed a lot. Look at the pirate beer. He's like, oof, I want some food. Bam, 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 bam. Munching all up. Everybody is on point. Everybody is happy. Platinum Gar has that shrimp in his mouth. It's a little big, but he eats a lot of this right here. This Siglid Gold, high protein food. They absolutely love it. All right, now let's do the freaking Shamu show over here and let's start feeding some fish. These guys are ready to go. They're on, on fire. They haven't ate since Monday. So they are eating today on Wednesday. We feed on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And uh, let's jump up top and let's feed these guys up. I'm gonna try to hand feed this catfish real quick. Hopefully my hand doesn't come off. We might have some blood. Let's see how this works out. All right, here we are. These guys are on point. We got our platinum red tail right there and our iridescent shark. Woo! Look at him, he just eats right from our hand. Look at the freaking Dorado. Look at the Dorado right there. Watch, 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 watch. Dorado's gonna grab that piece. Oop, never mind. Throw a piece over there for the Dorado. Dorado really wants one. All right, let's give it one more. Ow, the mosquito. Grab one more for this guy right here. Come on. Come on. Woo! He is so good on point. Hold on. Let's get the dat noise. Get the dat noise. Get the dat noise. Get the dat noise. Doosh! Everybody is on point. Everybody is super, super happy. Get you guys back to the bottom so you can see the crazy monster feeding on the bottom. So let you guys go down there real quick. All right, here we go. Got some food in Everybody is munching up. Everything looks absolutely amazing. I think everybody looks great. I know people are always complaining about my crystal clear water, but if you guys ever been to the natural way or natural habitats of where these fish come from, the water is not crystal clear. The water is completely coffee color. So this is perfect for them. This is what they love and this is the way that they strive and are really, really happy. Um, crystal clear water, they, they don't live in pools. They live in ponds, they live in rivers. The rivers get stirred up, filled with murky, brown, nasty mud. And we try to make it as happy as they are inside of here. And that's why it looks like this. This is perfect. It has the tannins inside of there because we have the leaves inside of our socks that are up top. I know people are like, bro, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He has the stupidest filtration, blah, 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 blah. I see it all in the comments all the time. Simple, easy is the best way to get these going. I'm telling you, if you want to spend your ten, twenty thousand dollars on infiltration, be my guest. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have what I know is going to work, and this stuff works. Where's the turtle? The turtle? Huh? Let's see where the turtle's at. McFly, where you at, buddy? Where you at, buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen him. He must be hiding. He's going to be out. He'll be out right around here in a second. McFly, McFly, McFly. No, no sabe. He's hiding in the, the rock. Yeah, he's over there in the corner. See him right there? He's gonna turn around right now. Far left corner inside the underneath. Right on the right side of that rock. You I, guys can see him. I see him, but I don't think the, the people are not gonna see him. They're not gonna believe me either. They're gonna say, oh, he's dead. Well, give him a second. You'll see him in a couple seconds. He's gonna turn around. I see his tail. He's backing up in three, two, two and a half, two and one quarter, and one. Bam, look at that boy. McFly's living his best. Like my mom came around the corner. She's like, uh oh, I hope he's alive. That's her favorite animal inside this thing. The sea turtle. Yes, it's a sea turtle, you guys. Everyone was freaking out when I named the last comic story. Yeah, see my sea turtle? Yes, in Florida, you guys, we call them sea turtles. We call, we call these guys the, the freshwater sea turtles. He's gonna come up and get some air. Here he comes. Look, mom, he's getting air. He knows how to do it now. He's so cute. Bloop. That's all he needs and he goes down. Really cute. And then he goes down for a long time. Yeah, That's he it. Does for a very long he time. He holds his breath for like an hour. It's crazy. I can never find him. 
But that's his corner, that's his little cave right over there. But as you can see, everybody's good, everyone's happy. I'm gonna give everybody a little bit of pellet as well, and a little bit of wafers for McFly. See all those wafers? All those wafers are for McFly. McFly will come out and munch them all up. Once they get down to the bottom, hopefully the carpet doesn't eat them all first. Isn't he in his hole already? No, he'll come out. He smells everything. I think the dad noise needs like a Fred name. He needs like a funny name. She needs a funny name, yeah. That noise needs a funny name, you guys. Put it down in the comments. What does the Dory. dad... Dory? Dory. Oh, Dory. He's always like wondering. Maybe. It I looks say, more like a boy. I say Dory. Dory. A strike Dory. I named the rips off. You didn't hear it. Oh, what do you mean? His name's Shamu. Shamu? Yep. Oh look, here he comes. Told you. He's like, oh, I smell it. I smell the food. If there's anything left, if not, I gotta feed you again. Okay, and those it over there? Yeah, that's one right there. One. No, there's a couple. He's gonna go. Let's see if we can get him on footage eating. Help. Come on. Come on. Take that left corner. There's some down on the bottom over there. He's probably getting. Big fly is down there. Oh, he's attacking the wafers down there. You saw them? There you go. Got him eating. He's getting all the wafers? Yep. There you go, you guys. See, the first day we put him in here, he was actually eating with no problem. He's super, super happy inside of the 6,000 gallon fish tank. But you guys, you can check over here as well one last time to get a great little lynch. Look at the, the pyribia. He actually eats a lot of pellets, so we'll throw a little bit of pellet in there too. You guys eat a lot of pellet. I like to give my fish a lot of different types of things. We're gonna start giving them even more different types of different types of fish for them as well. I know I said that like four times, but the more the better because obviously in the river and in the wild, they're not just getting fed goldfish all single day. I'd never feed my fish goldfish, by the way. But I'm saying, they're not getting just fed goldfish all day long. They're getting whatever the heck they can find in the river, the bottom of the river. So the more, the better. When you go to dinner, you don't just eat, you're not supposed to just eat, you know, one thing. You're supposed to eat a lot of things. So that's what we got to feed all the animals, a lot of different things. Um, a variety diet is the best way to keep your fish happy and healthy. And that's why I like to strive here. Um, I like exotic fish ranch and everybody looks at, oh my God, look at Shamu. Look how big he is. He's so freaking big. He's the funniest fish inside of there, I swear. Mm, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. My mom's in the background. It's a toss-up. Everyone's that so funny. The, other one. That. the giraffe, the giraffe nose? nose is yeah. pretty funny. The giraffe nose is funny. The big old face. But yeah, everyone's doing great. You guys, I could not be any happier. Let me throw a little bit more pellets for this, this guy right here. This guy's a freaking beast. He eats so much. I got to throw more minnows inside of here. I've actually seen... The stingrays attack minnows. I've seen the guards attack minnows. So we're definitely going to have to quarantine some minnows and throw some more. And I look up. Bam! I think they have to stop eating. It's crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on. Stay tuned for more videos here at the ranch. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you want to see here at the ranch. I feel like I'm doing like a singing thing. Yeah. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. And have a good day. Oh, one last thing. This weekend, I'm gonna be at Animal Con. Make sure you guys come say what's up to me. I'm gonna be with Kenya and Cash. We're gonna have a good old time. Come ask me questions. Feel free to take a picture, and I will see you guys all there. Peace out, everybody.